welcome to my channel divinely spoken and tea my name is nati this channel is for adults only please like comment subscribe to the channel you guys if you like my readings if you like my vibe help me grow we can grow together so this is a general energy check-in for sagittarius all right sad gang so table of feet leave what doesn't don't force any reading into your life if you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, and why, Sash Gang, that means that this reading is not for you. I do curse on my channel. If you don't like the cursing, you can always move to another channel. So the first card that came out was what? He got secrets. Whoever this person is has secrets, okay? And this person is not going to be telling you their secrets, period. But I hope that you all are doing great. I am back at my alter okay says youtube i haven't been here in nine days so i was like okay it's time for me to get back to the altar baby all right so i am here doing a general energy check-in for sagittarius so take what fit leave what doesn't all right don't force any reading into your life i do curse on my channel if you don't like the cursing you can always move to another channel now i don't know if i just said that or not but we're gonna hop right into the reading I'm sorry, we're going to hop into the grounding. And then into your reading. So, these two cards fell out. As you can see, it says he has secrets, STD. So, this person has some sort of secret in regards to an STD. So, you do need to be cautious, but this person is feeling like only you made them happy okay so i feel like this person is going to be coming to you with secrets possibly std i feel like it's something that they cannot heal from with this um healing the streets cards coming out in reverse okay and i feel like they're not going to be telling you about this so you need to be cautious whoever this person is that gave them the, this std they've been very withdrawn from this person okay and i feel like they've been doing nothing but thinking about you here but this person could have major, major issues, major secrets. So you just need to be cautious when it comes to this person. What's the energy? Yeah, because this person is going to be taking a leap of faith towards you, okay, with major secrets. They're going to be taking a leap of faith towards you with secrets. So just be careful, okay? I'm something you'll regret losing, and I can promise that. So this person feels like, you know, they lost you. This is your energy. I'm something you'll regret losing. Can't promise you that. All right. And I feel like this person is just sitting here thinking about that while they're over here with these secrets. Okay. Possibly STD here from this feminine energy. Thinking about how they lost you. Okay, so you just want to be cautious with this person because, oh my God, this person can have chlamydia, hepatitis, scabies, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, syphilis, AIDS, um, crabs, herpes, HIV, gonorrhea, and spirit is wanting you to protect your energy. I do feel like you are protected, but still, this person is going to be coming towards you, taking a leap of faith towards you. They're going to be moving from out of that introverted energy. They're going to be moving away from this feminine energy in the background. And they're going to be coming towards you because they feel like they're going to be, they feel like, you're like they feel like the universe has bought you to them but they didn't realize it like i said on the other reading the other day you never know what you had until it's gone and i feel like that's the energy this person regrets losing you okay and i feel like um this person has been patient they've been quiet over here dealing with this issue with this karmic with these stds and i feel like they've they're, they feel like they're finding help within spirit. So, I feel like they're starting to give their energy to spirit now and surrender. But it could be too late. This person could live in another city, state, town, or country here. This person could travel for work. This could be a long-distance relationship. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces who had two options. But this person is going to be coming in with the offer of love. But I feel like you're going to be independent. You're going to be unforgiving here. Wherever they are at, since this person has found out that they have an STD, it's been a lot of tension in this home dynamic here with this person, okay? 
And I feel like they definitely got something going on with their wine. But they're going to be coming towards you starting a new beginning here. Okay, because they, they're being very emotionally overwhelmed here. Okay, I feel like they're going to be coming towards you wanting the passion, wanting to start something new in regards to love. But, see, this person avoided a commitment with you, okay? I feel like this was your twin flame, and they failed to meet the test. They avoided this chance with you. They chose someone else here, and now they are very heartbroken. They are suffering. They could even be getting the bitter truth here, okay, in regards to you the high priestess okay i feel like you are very secretive you're keeping your moves hidden you are keeping everything silent you are the secret keeper for the divine here and i feel like this person has been lonely without you this person is some sort of narcissist who could have put you in a third party situation maybe thinking that they were all of that maybe they had a status at one point but i feel like now they're feeling stuck they have a lot of a lot of unwanted offers they're getting a lot of unwanted news um this person feels like you were a power couple. It's always a card in the dead that don't belong. But this person feels like y'all was some sort of power couple here. Maybe they feel like you're moving on with somebody else as well. Okay. And I feel like they are disappointed. They're blaming themselves here. I feel like this person does a lot of research up on you. I definitely feel like this person wants to communicate with you and ready to cut somebody off from their past because or whoever they are dealing with because they're realizing that this person has detoured them from their past. I feel like this person was very immature here they're having a lot of obstacles in life i feel like they're struggling here stuck with this page of swords who have been very cunning very careless all right this person could even be stuck with this page of swords who who could have lost a job this person is very materialistic very jealous here very suffocating i feel like at one point they were very undecided about who they wanted to choose but I feel like now they want to start this new opportunity with you here. They're ready to, to take the lead in their life. They're tired of this page of swords. They're tired of all of this suffocating energy. They're tired of all of these obstacles. And I feel like they're ready to stand their ground and come towards you. But it could be too late because you could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn who you are moving forward along with. Um, someone very grounded, boss man, business owner here. And you're moving forward in your life. All right, I feel like, yeah, this you're moving forward, okay? This could be somebody in another city, state, or country taking how it feel who you are dealing with, but or they could travel for work. But I feel like, you know, this person recognizes your worth. This new love recognizes your worth. They recognize your beauty. They recognize, like, this new love recognize everything about you when it comes to your beauty, when it comes to your brains. And I feel like you're moving forward because you know that this past person is going to be unforgiving. I'm sorry. You know that this past person could be in a lot of debt. You know that this past person is still attached to somebody. And you know that this past person is going to do nothing but breadcrumb you here. I feel like you guys haven't spoke with this person in the past three to five months, days, or years. But you definitely have realized either you could be a tarot reader or you're getting tarot readings okay or possibly even pay for a tarot reading for a tarot card reader and you have found out all this person's secrets and i feel like you're just healing right now with your new love meanwhile this person is over here stuck in competition they could be getting breadcrumbed at this time and they're going to be coming towards you here very fast, very fast communication, very impulsive because um they're going to be releasing their stuff from this energy. This person could be mad because you're moving forward. They're going to be jealous of this new love, okay? They're going to be jealous and depressed because they came towards you too late here. And when they do return to you, they're going to be returning back into the same energy. So you just need to be cautious with this person because you got a new love on the way, baby. Okay, you something that they regret losing. Okay, and you can you can bet them on that, period, Sage. Okay, so the signs that we have out here is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be new love, past love. Just take, how, take it how it fits, you guys. Uh, Sagittarius. Leo Aries, we got Aquarius, Capricorn, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Scorpio, a lot of uh air out here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. Um, we got pretty much all signs out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Leo Sag, Aries, Virgo. I think I said Virgo Taurus Capricorn already. But we got pretty much all the signs out here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
So just take it how it fits, Sash Gang. Take what fit, leave what doesn't. Don't force any reading into your life. If you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, and why, that means that the reading is not for you, you guys. I do appreciate all the love, like comments, and subscriptions that you all support me with, that you all show me. And I am forever indebted to you guys. Like, I love y'all so much, okay? This is no ordinary love, okay? I love you all so much. So until next time, Sash Gang, 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 bye, you guys.